This may come as a surprise to some of you, but I do look forward to things and even enjoy things from time to time. I know Mr. Negativity is breaking that illusion, but I'm here to tell you today that Joker 2 is quickly becoming the only thing comic book movie related that I'm genuinely excited for in the foreseeable future. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So I haven't talked about this movie much because I was kind of taking a wait and see approach. At first, I wanted more information to be revealed about the film so I could get a clear vision of what it was going to be about before I talked about it. But the more that I thought about it, the less I want to know. That makes sense. And not because I'm not interested. It's because we live in this world of instant gratification. Every trailer or news article we see tends to give away the entire movie. And I really hope that the marketing for Joker 2 stays away from all of that because this has potential to be something special. Part of the appeal of this movie for me is that it would seem based on how the first movie played out that a sequel really wouldn't be necessary. But on the other hand, I have a lot of faith in Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix. So much so that I don't think that they would make a sequel unless they had a brilliant idea to work off of. Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. They don't strike me as the type to just make movies for the sake of making movies. There has to be a purpose. I said when this movie was only a rumor that they would have to come with Godfather 2-like energy if they wanted this sequel to work. To me, the bar was set very high with that first movie, and to try to top it, which is what their goal should be, is going to be an uphill battle. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. But that's what great filmmakers do, in my opinion. They take some chances, and they aren't afraid of a challenge. The original Joker was one of the last times that I can remember, where I genuinely had goosebumps watching something comic book movie related in the theater. To me, that movie is everything that a comic book movie should and could be. It takes the characters seriously, which a lot of movies don't anymore. It tells a great story, which a lot of movies don't anymore. Is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there? and Todd Phillips managed to put a fresh spin on an iconic character in the process. A fresh interpretation that works, by the way. A genuine character study that felt like it was a film rather than just another movie. And most important of all, it wasn't burdened by being unnecessarily connected to something else. It stood on its own and it's a better film because of it. Which brings me to Joker 2 and what do we know about this film so far? Not a damn thing! While there isn't much, Joaquin Phoenix is returning, of course, and Lady Gaga has been cast as this film's version of Harley Quinn, which I think is a brilliant casting decision, by the way. To me, Gaga has proven her acting capabilities several times over, and I think she will have great chaotic chemistry with Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. The weirdest piece of news to come out of all of this is that the film may be a musical, or at least incorporate musical numbers in some way. Get the fuck out of here! No, no, I cannot, it's serious! Now the instant reaction to that from a lot of people was to shit all over it. Which is not really surprising considering most people's tendency to react emotionally. But as for me, Mr. Negativity, I'm actually intrigued by this prospect. And the funny thing is, is that outside of The Wizard of Oz and Willy Wonka, I fucking hate musicals. But I do think that this could work for Joker 2 for a couple different reasons. For one, we have to look back at Joker 1 and that scene after Joker kills those guys in the subway. Where Joker appears to have finally found his calling, and he feels like himself after finally getting out some of that rage and murdering people. And in that moment, he dances to the twisted music in his own head. Because he now has the freedom that he never had just being plain old Arthur. So I think that they could incorporate that idea nicely into Joker 2. Having Joker find a dance partner just as fucked up as he is in Harley Quinn. A sick and twisted love story where they do murder dances with each other. They do share very similar unstable minds after all. But you one crazy ass bitch! If you remember, Joker also dances down the steps in that iconic scene in the first movie as well. Again, very similarly after he murders someone. So to me, calling Joker 2 a musical doesn't sound all that far-fetched. More importantly than anything, the prospect of this film being a musical sets it apart a bit from the original as well as anything else coming out right now. 
And if my idea turns out to be true, it's doing what a sequel should do, and that's taking a concept that was established in the original and expanding upon it. Because it's all part of the plan. It sounds like this movie will be unlike anything else we are currently getting from Hollywood, and to me, that's a good thing. And I do have faith in the people involved to pull it off. Based, of course, on the genius status of the original. Todd Phillips also released a sneak peek first look photo from the set of Joker 2. And it isn't really much, it's just Arthur getting shaved. Whoopie fucking do. <laughs> hey, I'm impressed. Now some may look at this as insignificant because it's not really spoon feeding you anything. After all, there's no references or Easter eggs to speak of in this picture. But honestly, a picture of an actor getting shaved is more intriguing to me than the typical boring cast shots where everybody is just standing in a hallway looking at the camera. When your first look puts everyone to sleep, it's not really doing its job now, is it? So I strongly suggest that you wake the fuck up. Plus a picture released like the one for Joker 2 may reveal nothing, but when there's a lot of intrigue going into the movie already, you don't really need to show anything. Just to know that filming is underway is enough for me. I don't need to see anything else, hopefully until we get a very vague trailer at some point. Because that's how you get people interested in your film. You get them talking and you get them speculating about where it's going to go. The art of subtlety is dead in modern entertainment, except for a few select filmmakers who are trying to keep the magic of movies alive. Get what you fucking deserve! So I have to be honest, even though there's not much to go off of, I'm pretty excited for Joker 2. I'm interested to see where Arthur's story goes from here, and how Harley will be incorporated into it. The original movie, to me, was cinema, and I'm expecting Joker 2 to keep that same energy. Plus, if nothing else, Joker 2 is sure to piss off the Twitter crowd. I'm sure they're going to start calling anyone who's excited for it an incel at any moment now. <laughs> Meanwhile, it will probably make a ton of money and be critically acclaimed, much like its predecessor. You know a movie is pretty great when people are looking for reasons that aren't there to try to manufacture some hate for it. When filmmakers are allowed to be filmmakers and aren't forced to produce the same stale shit over and over again. To me, that's a win for cinema and that's a win for cinema fans. Y'all be cool. Right on.